Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm going to be doing a little bit of a makeup declutter. Um, my husband and I share this room as kind of like an office slash makeup room. And then my husband had the bright idea to add my makeup stuff to our bedroom because we have a very big bedroom. And so one like far end of it is just like a perfect spot to have like my vanity and like my drawers and I'm gonna get a new desk and stuff like that but I'm very excited about it so you guys will see a bit of that and then I'll show you guys the final transformation when it's done in a couple months but yeah so we need to move this into our bedroom and it's so filled with makeup that stuff that I really don't use so I thought I would just go ahead and film a bit of a declutter and just find some stuff that I'm going to get rid of or throw away and stuff like that so yeah let's just go ahead and get started So we're gonna get into this first drawer, which is my top drawer that's filled with primers. So let's go ahead and check out what I got in here. So I'm just gonna kind of take these bins out, I think. This is a beauty blender holder, so I like having that. Okay, so some of these makeup sponges are really gross and dirty. So I'm gonna toss these. I've washed them multiple times now, and they're just like too far gone, so awesome okay so we got this primer that i've used quite a bit of and looks kind of nasty so i'm gonna get rid of that i have this l'oreal magic perfecting base that i really didn't like but i've only used a couple times so i don't know i'll probably keep it and see if like a friend of mine wants it or something i don't want to give you guys like products that i've used um and then we have the bio clarity primer ready i love this so definitely keeping that becca first light priming love that Glow Ahead by Wander, love that. Ole Hendrickson, this was in the boxy jar. I'm keeping this. I have the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I love this and I like having a mini size of that. Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance, I love that. I have this Angel Eyes Primer that's like a really dark color, so it really doesn't match me at all. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Then the Catrice Prime and Fine Anti Red, terrible. I don't like that at all, get rid of that. My Too Faced Hangover, I think this is empty. Yeah, oh, I love this primer. Cover FX Blurring Primer, I don't like this, so I'm going to get rid of it. The Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer is a really nice, I really like this. Okay, so I ended up putting my minis in one and then regular in another, but this is mascaras in one primer. This is the Hard Candy Primer, I really don't like this. I'm gonna get rid of that. The Flower Beauty Warrior Mascara, keep that. Big T's from Buxom, I'll keep that. Um, Decker, Double Decker Lashes, I think I've had this for a long time. Oh yeah, that's really dried out. I love the Pure Fully Charged Mascara. Have the Lash Blast, CoverGirl, this one's still good. So, so this is that Tarte like hair. It adds like fibers, which is super weird. I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> I love Wander Beauty Mascara, so I'm gonna keep that. All right. I have a 24 karat gold mud mask. Don't know why that's in there, so I'll take that to my bathroom. We have the Ciate Watermelon Primer. I don't like this, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I have a Makeup Forever. I have two of these that I haven't tried yet for like vel vel velvet skin. <laughs> um, velvet skin, so I'll try those. And the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I'm gonna actually give this to my mom because I want her to try it cosmetics. Okay. If I find, hello, if I find stuff that I haven't used um, by the end of this video, I might put together a little giveaway, so stay tuned for that. And then I have these weird sponges that a brand sent me. I really didn't like them, but I don't think I wanna like get rid of them. <laughs> Let's move on to my foundation and powder drawer. I also think I'm gonna give away this beauty blender holder because I already have one and I don't really need two, so I'll put that in the giveaway. So let's go with powders first. This Absolute HD Flawless Powder, did not like. And then the Too Faced Do You Powder, I really love, so I'm gonna keep that. I also have a mini Too Faced powder, did I use this? Yes, I have a full size of this, but I'm gonna keep the mini too. And then a YC Collection, I didn't use this powder, so you can put this in the giveaway. This is a loose setting powder. And then the AOA Studio Perfect Powder. Whew, I think this was like okay, so I'll just put that there. And I just got powder everywhere. 
This is the L'Oreal Hydro Perfect Powder. I really like this, so I'm obviously gonna keep that and keep my Laura Mercier powder. I just got powder absolutely everywhere. <laughs> the Becca uh, Hydro Mist Powder, I really don't like this, so I'm gonna put this aside for one of my family members if they wanna try it. Then I have the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Powder. Did I try this? Yes, pretty sure I did, and I did not like it. Put that aside as well. I love the Pretty Vulgar Matte Translucent Powder, so I'm keeping this. And I have the Bella Pure Puree, I don't know how to say this, powder. Is this used? Nope, this is new too, so I'll put this in the giveaway, why not? And then I, of course, have Cody Airspun, which I will keep. And then the Maybelline Fit Me, I really didn't like this, but so many people like it, so I'm gonna try it again. Maybe it's just like a weird thing. This Catrice Bacon Setting Powder is horrible and I should have taken it back to Ulta but it's too late now so I'm just gonna set it aside I don't know what to do with it <laughs> so we know that I love my bare minerals foundations and this is a Too Faced Born This Way concealer okay there's still some left in here it's a little bit too dark for me but it's fine I have my Estee Lauder double wear I'll keep keep my pure foundations they're my favorite keep pretty fresh another, another pure it's my favorite um, Wet n Wild, this is the dewy one. I like this one, not the matte one. Then we have this that I tried to use for like um, liquid bronzing, like contouring, but it didn't really work, so I'm gonna put this aside. Makeup Revolution, Conceal and Define's really good, keeping that. I really hate this Dream Radiant Liquid, so I'm gonna <laughs> get rid of that. And then this is the 24 hour Maybelline foundation is also, I don't know, pretty heavy. I'm gonna have my mom try some of these cause she's always looking for foundations and just cause I don't like it doesn't mean she won't. This foundation broke me out so horribly bad. I never wanna see it again. Getting rid of this. Horrible. We have a Hourglass Vanish, Vanish Stick Foundation. I love this. Tarte. Um, Double Duty Shape Tape Foundation. I really don't like this. It's pretty much, oh wow, well, there's a lot of it. I'm gonna keep it though, cause there's so much, and I can always use these foundations when I'm just doing like a makeup look and I'm not gonna wear it out anywhere. Let me get this off my hand. Okay, then I have two of my MAC foundations. I used to be obsessed with MAC. This was the Match Master. It looks way too dark for me and they color match me, so obviously they didn't know what they were doing. But I always keep these because you know, you can like, take them and exchange them in for lipstick or something, even though I don't think I'll buy more, but you never know. <sighs> then I have the LA Girl White Foundation that I mix into some of my foundations that are too dark. And then the e.l.f. Stick Foundation. I did not like this, yeah, Ew. it's all gross. Then we have the Rimmel Lasting 24 Hour Foundation. I can't remember what my thoughts were on this. It seems really nice. I'm gonna try it again. I totally forgot about it. We have the Rimmel Stay Matte. Heard of this? It was on clearance anyway. The ColourPop No Filter Foundation. Horrible. Hate this foundation. Oh look, another one of my pure foundations. I can tell I really like the pure foundation. I keep a lot of them. This um, AOA from Shop Miss A is actually really, really good. It's a buildable satin foundation. It's just like a dropper liquid. Actually really, really great. So I'm gonna keep that. Then I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea concealer, which I did not like at all. And I have a mini one too, so. So next drawer is my blush drawer. Um, I don't think I ever tried this. I never tried this one. So I'll throw this in the giveaway as well. This is a BH Cosmetics. It doesn't look like I touched it at all. So I'll put that in the giveaway. So that was easy. Pretty much organized too anyway, so. So I don't really think there's much of, for me to get rid of in this drawer. Let's see. Bronzer was pretty terrible from TJ Maxx. I'm <laughs> gonna get rid of that. Did I use this? I think I did. Yes, but I did not like it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And we okay. Another pretty easy one. Oh. 
here. So we have my eyeliners and like single shadows. So let's see here. Some of these are pretty old. So like that is completely <laughs> dried up. This one's old. Yep. Okay, so we have my colored liners, which I really like. So we have like white. This, I'm just gonna move them over here for the time being. This Smashbox eyeliner, I really don't like this, but I'm gonna see if like my sister or my mom wanna try it. That one's good. Is this Maybelline one dried out? Yes, that's the one that's dried out. This one's not even open. We have one that's not open, y'all. This is from Rodial, smoky eye pen. Don't know, but I'll put it in the giveaway. Then we have my two eyebrow pencils over here, so I'm gonna keep those over here. So this is very, very old. This is a Makeup Forever purple shadow. It's a diamond shadow. I cannot get rid of this though because this was the very first makeup product I ever purchased from Sephora and I had graduated eighth grade and I got a gift card to go to Sephora and I picked out this shadow and so I can never get rid of it. Okay, the City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadows are so amazing if you guys have not tried these yet. They feel like butter, but look at that. City Color Shimmers, you guys need to try these. They're so crazy good. Oh my gosh, they just feel amazing. Look at that. These are insane and I believe they're like $4. So you guys need to check them out online. City Color Cosmetics, I think they just have like their own website type of thing. But oh my goodness, I forgot how good those are. These are just two single eyeshadows. It's like a little quad that I got in an Ipsy, which is really cute. And this one came in an Ipsy too, and it's just these two shadows. So those are so pretty. This BH Cosmetics Eye Light, which is like a silver. Oh man, that's pretty. We have this liquid eyeshadow as well. Oh, I never used this. Let me just make sure it's not like dried out. No, it's not. Cool, so I'm gonna put this in the giveaway. I did just now pull it out so you can see that some of the product came out, but this was brand new. There was like no product on anything. So I'll put this in the giveaway for you guys. And we have this just like shimmer, which is brand new. It's a copper by um, Meech and Mia, but it's still sealed. So I put this in the giveaway too. And this color tattoo, oh man, I used to be obsessed with Maybelline color tattoo. Oh, it's all dried out. When I was like 15, these were my go-to, just all over the lid. Thought I was so cool. And we have this beauty eyeshadow. That's pretty. And then I know I'm gonna keep these because they're all still good and I've used them. My lip drawer is the drawer that I am not looking forward to. There are so many. It has all of my lip pencils in it and I love these. So I'm keeping all of them. <laughs> okay, so we have this Ellen Tracy one that I did not. Oh, that's actually really pretty. See, this is gonna be difficult because I absolutely love lip products. If you can't tell, I have a problem. I love the Rimmel Stay Matte, so any of those we're automatically keeping. Keeping this NARS one, this ColourPop Glossy Lip Keeping, Kylie Cosmetics Keeping, <laughs> this L'Oreal Keeping, Lee Los Angeles Keeping. It's not gonna go well. Get rid of this. Kate Rimmel one, it's just like a clear one. Had it for way too long. The Dark Wine from Wet n Wild. Oh, that's pretty. Oh no, what am I doing? What have I done? I also need to clean these drawers off. This Estate Lip Gloss. I don't really like lip glosses, so I'm not gonna keep this. It smells like candy though. Um, This Nicole Miller. I don't remember if I liked this color. Shoot, it's really pretty. This is not going well. Rimmel keeping, Colourpop keeping. Um, soft matte lip cream from NYX. That's dried out. Good. Just like I get rid of that. Okay. Real her. Very red color. Oh, that's beautiful. Guys, I love lip products. I can't help it. Let's see. 
Victoria's Secret Matte, love these, keeping it. Another one of the L'Oreal lips because I love this. This is the spicy blush one. If you haven't tried this, you should, it's so pretty. Finding Fernadad, please don't like it. Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Number seven, this is pretty old, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys, this is not good. Smashbox keeping, Bella Pierre keeping, Urban Decay keeping. What is this? What are you? Oh, beautiful. So I got rid of like two. My lip collection is always going to be so huge because I just love lipsticks. Then I have this. Tinted Juice Infused Lip Oil, which I'm gonna apply some of this right now, actually. Liquid Lip, what is this? <gasps> Stunning. Sadly, this Smashbox is all dried out, so I gotta get toss that. Um, we always need a clear gloss, even that. Another one of those Butterfly Lips things, I'll keep that, because I sent it to me. ColourPop Keeping. This next one is really old. I'm gonna get rid of that. Look at, look at that. We just gotta put this big guy back in here and you know, kind of like separate. I have this, oh, these Shea Moisture lipsticks are like butter. They're so beautiful, so I'm keeping that. I love seeing a hand of lipstick swatches. It's my favorite. Makeup Forever, like mini sample one. I think this is pretty. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Caping that. Is that too, too bad, right guys? I can't get rid of them. Next we have eyeshadow palettes, and these are the ones that I use pretty much all the time, so I don't need to go in this drawer. This one, let's see. Okay, so this is the drawer of some that I use and some that I don't. I didn't really like the Ciate London palette, but I did use this in a BoxyCharm, so I don't want to give it to you guys since I used it, so I'll give it to someone in my family. And then I have this Moods one, which I don't like at all, and I don't even think anyone in my family would like it, so I'm just going to get rid of this. I have some Ipsy bags that don't belong in here. I have my Morphe 350 palette, which is, oops, which is pretty old, but... It's the first Morphe palette I ever bought, and I'm clearly very sentimental, so I keep that. And then I also really like this Carity Picante palette. It's gorgeous. Sophie X, keep that. Pure. So I think I am keeping these. Okay, keeping. Now this bottom drawer is stuff that I have for giveaways. And so I can include some of the products in here. I don't want to show you all the goodies that I have because you might see them in future Instagram giveaways or in here. But in this giveaway, I'm going to include the Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette from my BoxyCharm. Um, so I'll put this in here. It is ripped because I opened it to show on camera, but I did not swatch or use this at all. So this will be in the giveaway. And then I'm also, a big item here, I'm going to give away the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. So again, I opened the box to show it in a video, but I did not use it. So it looks like this. It's just highlights and contours. So we'll have this in the giveaway. I'll also throw in some Hank and Henry sponges. So you have the bigger sponge and then like a little one. And then this bag of opulent brushes. So you get three brushes in here. They're like clear handles. They're really pretty. Still wrapped up in the bags because obviously I didn't use them. So that will go in the giveaway as well. Include this Cosmodex Detox Activated Charcoal Mask. So this is brand new with the seal on it. And I'll put that in the giveaway as well. Okay, so all you have to do to enter this giveaway is be subscribed to my channel, of course. And then go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram, chronic Lexi with two underscores. I'll have it linked down below. And then leave a comment on this video. It can be anything. It can be anything about the video or if you're excited for the giveaway, whatever it is. And then you will be <laughs> included um, in a chance to win. What are words? I don't know. Um, and then I will let you guys know who the winner is and contact you on Instagram for your address. And yeah. Hey guys, so the new makeup headquarters is in our bedroom. Don't mind some of the mess. <laughs> and this is it. This is so cute. I am obsessed with this. So 
and I have my makeup drawers in here now, a little lipstick collection, which I'll have this linked in my bio if you want to check one out, some pictures, and yeah, my makeup desk is in here now, and I am really excited about it. My skincare fridge, some other goodies down there, and then hopefully in a couple months I will have a new desk that's going to be coming in here with more of these drawers, but this is it right now, and I'm so happy with it. Alright guys, so it is the next day when I filmed that last clip and I have a different makeup look on and everything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to enter my giveaway and thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I had lipstick on my teeth the entire time.